Hi, I'm PGA member Jay Golden, and I'm going to be talking about marking your ball on the putting green. It's extremely important to know that you should mark your ball, how to mark your ball, how to move your marker if it's in someone's way. First of all, it's extremely important to mark your ball on the green because if someone else is on the green and you do not mark your ball, if their ball hits your ball, it's a two-stroke penalty for them. Let's assume your ball is in a place where it cannot be hit. It's still poor etiquette because that person could see that ball out of the corner of their eye and they know that it shouldn't be there. It's also very important to mark your ball correctly. To do that, you put the coin directly behind the ball. You pick up your ball, and then when you replace your ball, you put your ball directly in front of the coin. The reason that sounds very simple, but the reason that it's so important is that if one time you put your coin in front of the ball, or on the side of the ball, or behind the ball, if you don't put it back in the same exact way, you could be getting an advantage or disadvantage. That's why the coin always goes to the back of the ball. Let's assume your coin is in the direct line of someone else that's putting. They will ask you, please move your coin one or two club heads. When you move your club head, you aim it at something that you could remember, like a tree, or part of a house, or a rake in a sand trap, so that when you put your club down, when you return the coin to its original position, you could aim it to the same exact place. When you move your coin to club heads, you put down the club head, you move the coin, then you put the club head down again and you move the coin again and do the opposite when you return the coin. You do not measure one club head, two club heads, and then put the coin down. It's very simple and very important to understand how to mark your golf ball.